Call to the member for Hinkler. Well, thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker, and I rise to congratulate the Bundaberg Netball Association, who, yeah. who have successfully lobbied to hold the 2018 Primary Schools Cup in September this year. But I've got to say, they didn't do it alone, Madam Deputy Speaker. They didn't do it alone. We made a commitment at the 2016 election of $500,000 to help them expand the Netball Super Park so it could attract events just like this. But I know what the opposition said at the time. The opposition candidate said, well, this is just all not true and it'll never be delivered. Well, here it is. It's built. It is built. It is delivered. We have kids out there on those courts in regional Queensland, in one of my uh, regional centres of Bundaberg, and an event of this size will attract more than 1,000 children in uh, years four to six from around 100 schools. Now, Madam Deputy Speaker, I know that you know what this will do for a regional economy. Uh, this is people in hotels, this is people at restaurants. They are down shopping, they're seeing our local tourism facilities and attractions, and hopefully they get to come back because it's such a wonderful place to live and visit. So I congratulate former President Karen Holloway and the current President Anthony Lewis for their passion and dedication in seeing this project come to fruition because it has been a very long haul, I have to say. The original netball courts were at a location called Kendall's Flats. They were damaged by floods in 2010. In 2013, they had a trawler parked on the roof of the building following the 2013 floods. Uh, this has been a boon for our local community, for our local sports people. It's been great for young girls in particular, and I look forward to the benefits that this will bring to our local economy. Congratulations, Bundaberg Netball Association.